Welcome back, folks, to Wood Forest Bank Stadium for a Woodlands Online Sports presentation of South County Football League Super Bowl Saturday. Third game of three earlier, we had the sophomore Cowboy Steelers, the seven and eight year old age group. Cowboys coming out on top, 18 nothing after a 91 yard and 60 yard run by Mario Watts Jr. And then just moments before, the Junior Ravens pulling off an 8 0 win over the Junior. Chargers after the Chargers made a late fourth quarter drive and the Ravens stopped them and the Ravens come out as Super Bowl champions. Now on to the big guys, 11, 12 year old age group senior division. We have the Senior Oilers versus the Senior Bill. Senior Oilers coached by head coach Mike Lower, assistant coach Alexandro Rivioso, and the Senior Bills coached by Daryl Cooper, assistant coach Chance Mock. Oilers coming into the game at 5-0 and in SEFL play, 8-1 and overall in the Alliance, Lone Star Youth Football Alliance. The chart, the Bills finished the regular season 3-2, and overall 6-4 was third place in the division and made it here in the semifinal playoff win over the senior Cowboys and here we go looks like the Oilers are going to kick first to the Bills and these teams both played each other back on October 9th with the Oilers winning that game 21-0 so Jacks, Jackson Lower, number four Oilers quarterback, dominating the league this year. And the Bills seeing if they can stop a very potent Oilers offense. And here we go with the opening kick. And that is not going to make it 10 yards. So there'll be a penalty flag. And down right there on the 48 yard line. So Bills are going to start off with great field position on the Oilers side of the field. 48 yard line, first and 10. As mentioned, the Bills coached by head coach Daryl Cooper, who's the VP of football operations for South County Football League. And Chance Mock, you might have heard of Chance Mock before. He was the Woodlands Highlanders quarterback um, back in the day and then went on to play at the University of Texas and got some great, had some great highlights, great film, a great career. And then Vince Young came in. Uh, so Chance was right before the Vince Young era there at UT. So here we go. Bill shotgun formation and they're going to hand it off to number one Carter Webb and he's going to be brought down by Jackson Lower and, and number 10 Carter Cass so tackle for loss two yard loss on that first play it's going to be second and 12 for the Bills started the game with great field position on an errant onside kick. Didn't go 10 yards by the Oilers. And Bill's coming out. Jackson Sinisi, screen pass. He was in motion. And that's number 11. Jaden Zwicky, the quarterback. Over, overthrown Sinisi so it's going to bring up third and 12 here early in the first quarter first possession for the Bills Oilers defense pounding the pads getting pumped up on this third down senior division is the only division we may see a punt on fourth down and they're going to run it up the middle and that was Webb on the carry and Rocco Rivioso not letting him go anywhere. About a half a yard gain. This is going to bring up fourth and 11 for the Bills. And they're not deep in their own territory, so they probably won't punt. Everything is pretty much four down territory here in Little League football. 
And I'm going to Romo prediction say we have a pass play here by Zuiki. Jackson, Sinisi. He's rolling out. He's going to throw it. He's got a man open and he makes a catch. What a catch. What a throw. And they're going to give it to him. Looked like he lost the ball when he went down, but that's good for a first down. Let's see the replay on that. Jackson Sinisi there. Zuiki rolls out, passes the ball, not to Sinisi, but hits number 25, Caden Coplin, who makes a great catch, great throw there by Zuiki. Huh? Zuki. Zuki, thank you for that. It was a little league football, so we pronounce a lot of last names, but luckily we got great parents that help us out. So, Zuki, Zuki, quarterback for the Bills, making a great, accurate pass for the first down. Big time play to extend this first possession for the Oilers. So here we go, first and ten. Zuki is going to pitch the ball. And that's Webb. Webb's trying to get around to the left side. He's going to be tackled. Excellent play there by number ten, Carter Cass. <laughs> Webb trying to get to the sideline corner on the quick pitch to the left-hand side. And Cass not letting him go anywhere. No gain on the play, second and 10. 7.30 here in the first quarter. Shotgun formation for Zuki. Er, yep, Zuki's gonna fake the handoff to Webb and then follow him up the hole, but Number 12, Rocco Riviosa there, not having any of it. No gain, third and 10 for the Bills. It was just a fake handoff and follow your big blocker, Webb, there. And he gets his block, but Riviosa beat his blocker untouched, makes a big time tackle. Third and, third and about nine and a half for the Bills. 642 here in the first quarter. First possession of the game. Third down and ten. All around the one forty-seven yard line. Zuki shotgun. Trying to draw them off sides. Multiple count. Draw play. Or counter play there. Hand off to number five. Cash mock. Chance mock son. Picks up a yard. It's going to bring up fourth and nine. Fourth and a short nine for the Bills. Tackled by number 32, Preston Freeman. Bills athletic and can pass. Doing it all season. Bring up fourth down and nine. Talented quarterback, good wide receiver crew. Zuki. Shotgun formation, Webb back there with him. Receivers to the right-hand side, trying to draw him off sides. Doesn't get it. Goes back for the pass. He's got a man down open. Overthrows him just by a bit. Intended for Jackson Sinisi. He was double covered. Thought he was interfered with. Russ didn't give it to him. It's going to be a turnover on downs. First and 10. Oilers' first possession of the game. Going to start at the 36-yard line. Big Jacks lower quarterback for the Oilers. Been doing a good job this year. 5-0 and in SCFL play. 9-1 and against the Lone Star Youth Football Alliance. Lone Star, Fo Football, Lone Star Youth Football Alliance, which includes Humble, Magnolia, North County, which is Willis and Montgomery, Brenham, Huntsville, and Grimes County, Navasota. Jackson, lower. 
Shotgun snap, power right formation. Looked like they moved, no call. Jackson's going to keep it. He's going to get tackled. Good tackle there by Webb after the five-yard pickup. It's going to give the Oilers second and five on their first possession. Five, ten left in the first quarter. Pick up a five on the play. Ball bring up second and five. So we've had two great Super Bowl games today already. Sophomores played at 10, juniors played at noon, and now the marquee matchup, Oilers-Bills here at 2 o'clock, senior division, SEFL Super Bowl, Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Carter Cass, he's got the edge. He's going to break the sideline and get brought down out of bounds. Great run there. by Cass. Oh, flag on the play. So Cass taking a wildcat formation. Run about 30 yards. Looks like a holding call is going to bring it back. Here's the replay. Cast direct snap to the left hand side, hits the sideline. So 425 left in the first quarter, 0-0. Zero, zero. First possession. For the Oilers, Bill's first possession, got a first down, but went four and out. Refs are trying to figure out where the ball should be placed. It'll be second down at 12, Oilers. Looks like the yard marker might have moved in the excitement of Cass getting downfield. Refs trying to figure it out. Having a discussion. Head ref Donald Carpenter and crew. Russ still trying to figure it out. So it looks like that's going to be the spot. Second and ten for the Oilers. Ball on the 36-yard line. Lower back in shotgun formation. Two wideouts either side. Slot on the left. Sending a man in motion. That's Cass in motion. Lower looking back to pass. Doesn't have anybody and he's going to get sacked by Carter Webb. Big time sack by the Bills. Straight up pass play here. Lower was looking. He sent, sent Cass to the right left side of the of the field in motion. He's looking to the right side. Looked like his tight end went out on a Tight end, five and out. Just covered up. Great defense. Secondary coverage by the Bills. He's going to bring up third and 15 for the Oilers. Same formation. Two wideouts. Cass in motion. Or Wolf in motion. Screen pass. That's going to be to Cass. Lower complete. Missed tackle. And he's going to get him out of bounds. Looks like number five, Cash Mock, and number 11, Zuki. On the tackle, is going to bring up fourth and eight. Not going to see a lot of punts here on fourth down, folks. Little League football. 
higher percentage of getting the first down than getting the ball 20 yards down the field on a kick, even at this age. But she just got a phenomenal kicker. We will see some field goals, though. I know that on extra points. So here we go. Fourth and eight for the Oilers. Lower shotgun. Power right formation. Three spread out on the right. Tight end. Lower looking to pass. He's looking downfield. He's going to get it downfield. He's got a man open and he catches it. Big time catch by number 21, Eduardo Ramirez. Jackson Lower looks like we're going to have a flag. Late flag. Not sure what happened there. Gavin Rodriguez was down. He's a little shaken up. But what a play there by Jax. Here's the replay. So Jax is he's going to fake the handoff to Wolf, and he's just trying to scramble. Watch the power of this arm. On the run, on one leg, gets it downfield, and great catch there by number 21, Eduardo Ramirez. Not sure what the flag was for. It was definitely after the play. Looks like an unsportsmanlike after the catch. Got to keep your composure on big plays anytime during a football game. It's going to back them up 15 yards after the first down or after the big play. Still gives them a first down. It's going to bring up first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Chain crew a little confused. Okay, so penalty knocked, tacked on after the ball spotted. So, no. Okay, and they're trying to fix it now. Oh, no, the refs are talking about it. The refs have been doing a good job out here today. They've been out here for three games here in the sun. Beautiful day here at Shenandoah, Texas, Wood Forest Bank Stadium. South County Football League, Little League Football, Super Bowl Saturday. I want to thank our sponsors, Woodlands Online Sports for the presentation, Roma Energy Holdings, Golo Dealerships, and Quirky Leaf. So it looks like it's a, yep, that's what I thought. I knew there was something going on there with the chain gang. It should just spot it there since it was a first down and penalty on that play. So first and 10 from the 49-yard line um, of the Oilers. Backed them up 15 from where um, Ramirez originally caught the pass. So. Different quarterback in. Lower spread out. This is going to be Cass. Cass is going to take it around the left side. He's breaking tackles. Good, good, good tackle there by Carter Webb. Number 10, pass the ball carrier. Tackle by number one. Now this is straight up power play sweep to the left off the tackle. And Cass just does a great job cutting up field, navigating through traffic until he hits very athletic Carter. Carter Webb brings him down. Great open field tackle there by Webb. Is going to bring up second and three. Second and two. A long two here for the Oilers. Lower back in at quarterback. Shotgun formation. Running back by his side. Running back five, four yards behind him. Rivioso goes in motion. He's blocking. Lower's going to keep it. Off the right side. He's got room. He's got more room. Brought down by number 11, Zuki. Number four, Jackson Lower, the ball carrier. And that's going to pick up a first down. Great run there by Lower. And he just powered his way there to the 24 yard line. So Oilers driving in their first possession. Bills are playing great defense. Had them stop until a big time play. Pass by Jax Lower. First and 10, 24 yard line. Jax taking the ball under center. He's going to pitch it. 
It's got Cash to the outside. Going to be run out of bounds there by number five, Cash Mock. Quick huddle by the Oilers. Power right formation. Lower. Shotgun. He's looking to pass. He's got a man in the flat. That's Wolf. Wolf is going to be brought out of bounds. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. 0-0 zero, zero game. Bills had one possession, Oilers had one possession, but we're here at Wood Forest Bank Stadium for a Woodlands Online presentation. The South County Football League Super Bowl Saturday, South County Football League, the premier fall tackle football league in South Montgomery County, serving the South Montgomery County, North Harris County areas. A lot of these players will go on to play at Woodlands College Park, Oak Ridge, Grand Oaks High Schools, John Cooper, Woodlands Christian, Legacy. They're all over the place, but they're on varsity. Chances are they started their young football career here at South County Football League. Players at South County Football League getting a treat. Usually we play uh, Super Bowls in all our home games at a beautiful Golo Park, five football field facility off of Sawdust and 45 front side of the Woodlands across the street from Orwall Baseball Park and the Montgomery County Re Precinct 3 Recycling Center right next door. If you want to sign up and play football next year, registration begins April 15th, runs through the end of June, tryouts in July, practice starts in August, first game first week of September. SCfootball.org. And here we go, start of the second quarter. Oilers ball on the 16-yard line. Lower, going to take it. Shotgun formation running to the right side. Stiff arm and chass mock. He's going to be run out of bounds. He's going to pick up the first down. Looks like a ref dropped a flag. Not sure who it's on. I saw mock and lower kind of doing some shoving after the play and it looks like Lower is going to get called. Waiting for the call from the head ref. Pass interference on the Oilers. Pass interference wouldn't make sense so a five yard penalty on the Oilers is going to negate the first down Lower just got. He's going to bring up third and a long six for the Oilers. Lower, shotgun, formation. Two wide left, two wide right. Sends Wolf in motion. Wolf, a tall kid, screen play to Cass. Low pass. Ah, he caught it, but his knee hit the ground. They're going to call him down. So it's going to bring up, it's going to be a loss about a yard or two, about three yards. It's going to bring up fourth and nine. Bill's doing a great job on defensively holding them here on this four down series. So fourth and nine, nine seventeen, second quarter just started, score zero zero. South County Football League, Super Bowl Saturday, Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Looks like Cass is going to take the quarterback in shotgun position. Player in motion. And this is going to be a pass. And they get it down. They're going for Jacks. Almost intercepted. Matthew Johnson had his mittens on it. Couldn't hold on to it. But nonetheless, inter incomplete pass on a fourth down. And the Bills with a great job holding the Oilers to four down territory or four down possession, change of possession to get the ball back deep in their own territory. So they're going to get the ball first and 10 on the 23 yard line. Great play there by Matthew Johnson, number two for the Bills.
And he's got room. Great run up the middle. Zuki on the carry is going to pick up about six. Going to make it a long six or second and long four. A good run there off tackle, left hand side. Tackle made by number 12, Rocco Rivioso. He has a few in the game already. There we go, second and four. Zuki, shotgun formation, man in, man in motion, is going to hand off to Webb. Webb around the right-hand side, trying to get to the sideline, cut the edge. He's fighting off a tackle. And if not for Cass, holding on to his ankle for dear life, he would have had some room to run. It's going to be a short gain. It's going to bring up third and two. Tackled by number 10. 7.50 in the second quarter. Score is still 0-0. Still zero to zero. Folks, these, play, these teams played October 9th with the Oilers winning 21-0. So a rubber match here in the Super Bowl to see if the Bills can balance out that record against the Oilers and win them a ship. Third and two. Zuki with Webb in the backfield. Zuki, shotgun formation. Takes the snap. A little draw play for Zuki, but the Oilers were ready for him. <laughs> Lower there on the stop. It's going to bring up fourth and a very short one yard ball on the 33 yard line 32 yard line just above the 32 yard line they're smart they'd go under center <laughs> QB sneak we'll see what happens here they may have a go to play I'm not going to second guess a guy that played at the University of Texas or Daryl Cooper, excellent coach, longtime coach here at SEFL. So how, uh, the Bills are going to call a timeout, talk it over, important fourth down for them, trying to keep the ball, keep the clock running. 6.34 left here in the second quarter, score 0-0. Zero, zero. Oilers, Bills have had the ball, Oilers have had the ball, Bills have had the ball, Oilers have had the ball, and no one scored yet. So we want to take the time to thank our sponsors, Woodlands Online Sports, presenting South County Football League Super Bowl Saturday here at Wood Forest Bank Stadium, brought to you by Roma Energy Holdings. Roma Energy putting up the money to get us into Wood Forest Stadium. Very appreciative of that. South County Football League is a non-profit organization. All volunteers. Also want to thank the Golos, our great partners and friends, long-time partners and friends. Tony Sr., Tony Jr., Sparky Corky, and the whole Golo family for everything you've done for us. Zuki, shotgun, takes it fourth down, hands it to Webb. Webb powering himself to a first down, and he's going to get it. Great power play by Carter Webb to pick up that first down. And let me tell you, that was a big play. Oilers, or the Bills really needed to keep the Oilers on defense, offense off the field, and they just did a great job there. 6.20 and counting, first and 10 on the 35. And that was an excellent run there by Carter Webb. Because he got stopped at first before he got to the first down and just powered himself over where he needed to get, gained a few extra to give the Bills a first down on the 35 on their own 35-yard line. So Bills trying to put together a drive here. Zuki going to be in shotgun. Webb and Johnson back there. Webb and 
Mock back there in the backfield with him. And looks like the Bills want to talk it over again. So another timeout called. So earlier today, sophomore Cowboys beat the Steelers 18 0. Mario DeMario Watts Jr. had a 91 yard touchdown run, a 60 yard touchdown run, over 200 yards rushing for the sophomore Cowboys to get that 18 0 Super Bowl championship sophomore division. Then at noon, we had the Junior Ravens, Junior Chargers go at it for a very good game. Eight to nothing win over Ravens over the Chargers to win the Super Bowl in the junior division. And now here we go. 538 here in the second quarter. Senior division Super Bowl South County Football League. Senior Oilers, Senior Bills, Bills first and ten. Shotgun formation, Zuki sends Sinisi in motion, takes the snap, he's looking to pass, he's got Sinisi, Sinisi going up for it, and he's not going to get it, excellent coverage there, by the Oilers, and that was number 19, Ru Ruiz Bosch on the coverage. And he just does a great job. That was a great defensive. Not only was it a great offensive play, Sinisi went up and tried to catch it at the highest moment, which he should as receiver. But Ruiz Bosch there getting his hand up right at the last second to knock that pay, play away. Little League football is best, folks. Second and ten. Ball on the 35. Zuki shotgun. Two running backs in the backfield. Looks like we're going to have motion. You're going to back the Bills up five yards. Full start, Bills. We'll bring up second down and 15. So here we go, second and 15 for the Bills. Hand off to Carter Webb. He's trying to get around the left-hand side. He's going to get wrapped up by Cass, Carter Cass. And pick up a short game. It's going to make it third and 12. Looks like we're going to have a timeout on the field. So 5-0-3 here in the second quarter, 0-0, Senior South County Oilers, Senior South County Bills, Super Bowl Saturday, Senior Division Super Bowl Championship game. We've had two great games today earlier, Sophomore Division, Cowboys over the Steelers, Ravens over the Chargers and the Juniors. Here at beautiful Wood Forest Bank Stadium, beautiful day for football. Got a great crowd here as Little League standards go. The football players getting a big treat here. Getting to play in the Varsity Stadium, Wood Forest Bank Stadium on the turf. The Bills trying to keep the Oilers off the field. Offense off the field. They got a third and long 12. Zuki shotgun. He's got Webb and 
Mock back there with him. And he's looking to pass. He's got a man. Oh, had Mock wide open, put it right where he needed to, and Mock just couldn't bring it in. It's going to bring up fourth and 12. So 4.57 left in the half, first half. Bills, fourth and 12, need this conversion. Gonna be a pass play. They're bringing the pressure. He's throwing downfield, that's a give me. Oh, and you're gonna get a flag. Is that gonna be a pass interference? If it is, big time break for the Bills. Let's see what the refs have to say here. And the Oilers bring a blitz, bring all the pressure, and Zuki got rid of it last moment, kind of a jump ball situation. Flags go flying, Russ still trying to sort it out. Four forty left here in the second quarter. It looks like this is going to be on the Oilers. Is it a ten or fifteen? It looks like it's going to be a fifteen-yard penalty. Going to give the Bills a much-needed first down, and that's a big break for the Bills, keeping this drive alive late in the second quarter. Zuki did an amazing job, had a lot of pressure on him, almost took a hit, stood in there, threw it at the last second, giving his player opportunity to catch it. So Bills, first and 10 from their own 48-yard line. Zuki shotgun, takes the snap, hands off to Carter Webb. Carter Webb, right-hand side, trying to get to the edge. Not going to get there. Going to be brought down by number 14, Sam... Oh. <laughs> and sorry folks, I wish I could pronounce uh, Sam's last name, but I'm not even going to take a shot at it. <laughs> no disrespect to that family, but I think I'm showing more respect by not trying to. Than it's a long one. It's got about 15 letters in it. So here we go. Good job, Sam. Good tackle. Second and eight. Oh, fumble the snap. And Zuki jumps back on it. Fumble on the play. Wasted play there. Fumble on the play is going to bring up third and 11 for the Bills. Ball on the 47-yard line. 330 and running left in the second quarter. See if I can't get a pronunciation for Sam's name before the game's over. Find an Oilers parrot. <laughs> so here we go, third and 11. Zuki, shotgun formation. He's gonna run to the other side, Oilers all over that. Left side of the line, faked right, went left. Number 21, Eduardo Ramirez on the tackle. It looks like the Oilers are going to call a timeout, stop the clock with 2.52 left in the half on fourth down coming up for the Bills. Bring up 
so 252 here left in the first half. 0-0 zero, zero. Senior Division Super Bowl South County Football League. Woodlands Online Sports presentation of South County Football League Super Bowl Saturday presented by Roma Energy Holdings. I want to thank all our sponsors. Without you, can't make it happen. Golo Dealerships and the Golo family and Kirky Leaf. So fourth and 11 here for the Bills. Zuki, shotgun formation. And now the Bills want to call a timeout. Didn't like what they saw in the formation of the Oilers, what they had going on lining up offensively, so they're going to call a timeout. So fourth and 11, 252 left, senior Super Bowl, 0-0, senior Oilers, zero Bills. Oilers were driving, and the Bills stopped them deep in their own side of the field. A crucial four, four down. Almost had an interception against Lower to get the ball. Made one first down here. Got lucky on a pass interference play. Another first down. Ball on the 47. And definitely stay tuned to halftime for our South County Football League cheerleaders have already performed twice at the halftime show of the sophomore and junior division Super Bowls. Did excellent, as always. If you're interested in signing your daughter up or son for cheerleading, come to South County Football League. We'd love to have you. Got a great crew, the coaches, our cheerleaders, scfootball.org. S is in South, C is in County. Football, SC football, all one word, dot O R G. Here we go, fourth and 11. Bills trying to keep this drive alive. Zuki, shotgun, has Carter Webb back there with him to his left hand side. He's going to go back to pass. He's got pressure, scrambling. He puts one up and it falls out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Zuki trying to make something happen there on fourth down. Put a, put a good ball up there, just sailed out of bounds a little bit. He was on the run. He had a couple of Oilers chasing him. Great pressure there by the Oilers. Caused him to flush out of the pocket. It's going to bring up first and 10 for the Oilers on the Bills' 47-yard line with 2.45 left here in the second quarter. Jacks lower, shotgun formation, three spread left, one coming in motion right. It's a pass play, he drops back, he's got time, he puts one up, and he overthrows intended receiver. Looks like he was going for Cass. Great defense and coverage there by Sanisi and Jackson did Lake. Actually, that's Gavin Rodriguez, longtime SEFL player. That kid's been playing in SEFL for 20 years. Gavin Rodriguez. Flag on the play. It'll be first and 10, Oilers. It'll be first and 20, Oilers, with 2.39 to go and a half. So Jax, lower, going to take the handoff. It's a pitch. <laughs> That's Cass. He's got room. Quitch pitch to the outside. Yeah, 
Hey, do you know how to pronounce number 14? Yes, man. I was gonna say that's, that's All right. So what I love about Little League Sports is you get parents help you out with pronunciations. Early learn what, how to pronounce Zuku. And now we know Sam's last name is Ifani Chuku. So dad just came up and let me know. Appreciate that. He was actually looking for the PA announcer. <laughs> so Ivani, is, he, is Ivani Chuku. Sam is Ivani Chuku. He's number 14 for the Oilers. Here we go. Oilers, Jacks. Shotgun, he's back to pass, he has time, he's going downfield, he's got a man, what a catch, stays on his feet, number 21, Eduardo Ramirez, what a pass, what a catch, and great tackle there by Copland. Well, let's watch this, Jax, straight drop back, this is a post pattern, puts it right where it needs to be, little over the head, and Ramirez did a great job of making that tie or of making that catch and Matthew Johnson on the tackle. So big time play, first and ten for the Oilers on the 23 yard line. So timeout on the field. 54 seconds left here in the second quarter. First half, folks. Senior Super Bowl, South County Football League out here at Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Oilers just converted a 30-ish yard pass. Jackson lower to Ramirez, Eduardo Ramirez. Great pass, gate catch by Ramirez. So. First and ten for the Oilers. Ball in the 21. Jacks lower. Shotgun formation. Has two back there with him. He's going to hand off. Nope, he's going to keep it. Go to the left side. Off tackle. He's running around the end. Carter Webb with a great stop there. 44 seconds left. Clock's running. Not sure how many timeouts they have left, but... Not a lot. There's a lot of timeouts called in this first half. So hustling up to the line. 30 seconds left. Clock running. 29, 27. Jax takes the handoff. It's going to be an option pitch. He, he's got he's got room. And he's going to get in the end zone. Powers his way over the goal line for a touchdown. Got hit at the two-yard line and just willed and powered his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Jacks lower. He's a little shaken up, but got the Oilers into the end zone. So the Oilers strike first with a 21 yard run, 14 yard run by Jacks lower. And he just powering his way into the end zone with 15 seconds left. And they are going to kick a field goal, folks, and kind of explain why they're switching sides of the field. There's construction going on on the north side of the end zone. It's a CISD te teacher training facility, and there's no one there today, and there's no net behind the field goal. So if you kick it in there, we lose a field ball, football. So what they're doing is, and it's Little League football, so we can do this, they're going to the other side of the field to kick their extra point. So, a lot of confusion probably in the stands right now, but hopefully they figure it out. Again, Little League football. We're playing at a beautiful, beautiful Wood Forest Bank Stadium on turf field. So, Jax Lower is going to have the hold.
And that's going to be blocked. And that was blocked by number 77, Ethan Vera. He's a tall, big kid. So after the blocked extra point, which would have given the Oilers three points for extra if they made it, it's just six to nothing. Oilers six, Bills zero, with 15 seconds to go in the second quarter. And the kicker, sorry folks, was trying to get the kicker for the Oilers name. That's uh. This is Niku Ruiz Bosch, the kicker for the Oilers, but kick blocked, and they're going to little pooch kick downfield, and they better hurry to pick that up. Oilers all over it, and Oilers are going to recover. The Oilers are going to recover. There's 12 seconds left, and what a great kick there by Bosch, Ruiz Bosch, put it over the head, and look, people in Little League, most everybody onside kicks. It just is what it is. And rarely you have one kick deep and masterful move there by Coach Lower kicking over the head of the Bills and they just couldn't get to it in time. And the Oilers got there right at the same time, couldn't handle it. Um, fumbled and recovered by the Oilers. So ball's on the 20 yard line and 12 seconds left. They're gonna have about Two plays to throw it in the end zone. Stay tuned at halftime for South County Football League Cheerleaders halftime performance, Super Bowl halftime performance. Jack shotgun, three spread left, one right. Right is in motion. He's going back to pass. He's looking down the middle. Intercepted! Intercepted! And that is... That is Zuku. Zuku, quarterback, slash, safety, slash, digs. Interception. Big time interception. Big time play by Zuki. And look, he just stepped right. He was all over that pass. Excellent defensive back safety play, stepping into the line of that pass. Great play by Zuki. Seven seconds left, so the Bills get the ball back. Ball's on the 10-yard line. I imagine Coach Cooper is going to take a knee, or maybe he'll go try to go for a deep one. Definitely don't want anything bad to happen in this situation. You're only down 6 nothing. Yep, they're going to just hand it off to Carter Webb and hope for the best. And that's going to be the end of the first half, folks. South County Football League Super Bowl Saturday at Wood Forest Bank Stadium where the senior Oilers are leading the senior Bills 6 nothing. Stay tuned. Enjoy a great performance by our South County cheerleaders. We'll see you in the second half.
Give your 2021 SCFL cheerleaders a round of applause.
And folks, we are back at Wood Forest Bank Stadium for Woodlands Online Sports Production, the South County Football League Super Bowl Saturday. This is the third of three games we've had today. Sophomore division played first at 10 a.m. Won by the sophomore Cowboys over the sophomore Steelers. Noon, we had the Junior Ravens beating the Junior Chargers 8 to nothing. And now we are in the senior game, about to kick off for the third quarter of the senior Super Bowl. Oilers, Bills, Oilers winning 6 nothing. Number 19, Bo Duke to kick it off. And there should be an offsides here. 15 doesn't get back. He gets back just in time. So that's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be a penalty. Bill's kicking to the Oilers. So Oilers are going to get the ball. Good field position. Let's we'll see what Coach Lower and Jack's lower quarterback has in store for us. His first possession of the second half. I want to thank all our sponsors today. Wouldn't be possible without Roma Energy Holdings, allowing us to get into Wood Forest Bank Stadium. And on that note, I want to thank Athletic Director for the CISD, Conroe Independent School District, Danny Long, and his staff for working today and allowing us to use this great facility. We give our future varsity football players a chance to play in a big time venue so here we go second half Cass around the corner and he's got room he's going to get run out of bounds Cass taking the direct snap out of Wildcat formation Forty-five, Gavin. 45 Gavin Rodriguez Pushing him out of bounds. Gavin, a big time veteran of SEFL. He's been playing out here for eight years. Made a joke earlier, but make that joke all the time with mom. And he seems like he's been out here for 20. So, Gavin, great having you out here at the Super Bowl. First and 10, ball on the 42 yard line. Jack's lower, running off tackle, left side. He's got room. He's going to get brought down by Carter Webb. After a seven yard pickup, going to bring up second and three. Oilers being able to move the ball running. Dangerous running and passing are the Oilers. Oilers winning six nothing after a nine yard. Power run by Jax Lower in the second quarter. So second and three. Cass is going to take the snap again. Lower spreading the slot right side. Motion left side coming to Cass. He's going to fake it, run to the left side. And he's got room. He's going to scamper out across the first down yard marker to the 20 seven yard line pick up another first down for the Oilers so the Oilers having some success in this first series in the second half running the ball with Cass and lower about three plays they've moved the ball about 30 yards Power formation, no one spread wide. Power left, lower, takes the handoff. He's running left. And he picks up about five yards. The refs are going to keep him in balance, keep the clock running. 747, third quarter, start of the second half. Oilers winning 6 nothing. So Jax 
Direct snap, Cass. Cass, he's got, he's got room. He might make the pile on. The ref is going to call him out right there at the one yard line. Great job there by Zuki and Riley. Getting him out of bounds, but better run by Cass. About a 17 yard scamper to the right side pylon, trying to get there. Couldn't quite, ball on the one yard line. Oilers threatening to score again. First and 10, score six nothing. 7-0-3 here in the third quarter. Jack's lower, power left formation. Jack's gonna run to that power side and he's gonna get in easily. Touchdown Oilers. Jack's lower, second rushing touchdown of the day. One yard out earlier in the second quarter. A nine yard run. Well, he's just too big of a kid to stop him from one yard out without getting multiple bodies on him. So number 19, Ruiz Bosch gonna try the fill goal again for the extra points. Gonna give him three points if he gets it. And they missed it wide right. So extra point, no good. Missed wide right. Going to keep the score 12 nothing. 6.55 here in the third quarter. Here at Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Super Bowl Saturday, folks. South County Football League, Woodlands Online presentation. Live streaming. These games will be posted on the website after today. We've got to give showstopper Justin, our producer, time to make all that happen. Put a lot of work in. Had to load up at 6.30 this morning at the Woodlands Online Studios and bring the equipment over here to Wood Forest Bank Stadium so we could bring this live broadcast to you. Happy for you to join us. Happy for family and friends out of town, out of state, able to watch your family member play football. Ethan Vera covered up that onside kick for the Bills, number 77. So he's going to give the Bills the ball at the... Looks like they're going to spot it at the 46-yard line, right over the 46-yard line. First and 10 Bills. Bills still trying to get on the board. 12-0, 6.55 in the third quarter. Jacks lower with two rushing touchdowns. One nine-yard, one one-yard just happened. Super Bowl Saturday for South County Football League. Beautiful Saturday here in Shenandoah in the Woodlands, Texas. Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Roma Energy Holdings. Big sponsor making this possible. Golo dealerships and the Golo family. So appreciative of that relationship with South County Football Park and our beautiful five football facility, Golo Park. Zuki, shotgun, low snap, gets it. Power run to the right side is going to pick up about four yards. Going to bring up, going to bring up second and six. Good job, Zuki, handling that low snap and getting positive yards in that play. Zuki's had an excellent game, both offensively and defensively. Jaden Zuki. Rivioso, Rocco, great football name, on the tackle there. So second and six, Zuki, shotgun formation, power right formation. You're going to quick pitch to Webb. Webb's going to get outside. He's going to pick up a yard. Carter Webb, one yard on the sweep to the right side. It's going to bring up third and five for the Bills. Third to long five for the Bills, about five and a half. That'll bring up. 544 remaining in the third quarter. Got a great crowd today for Little League. Football, Webb up the middle, right hand side. He's 
taking a couple of Oilers, more than a few, to get them down. But not before he picks up about three yards. So it's going to bring up a fourth and about a yard and a half. You see the yard markers right there by the ref. About a yard and a half to go for the fourth down. We'll see what Coach Cooper and Chance Mock have in store for this one and a half yard play to get the first down, keep this drive alive. Bills need to get back in this game. Down two possessions, 12 nothing, 452 here in the third quarter. Zuki shotgun has Carter Webb behind him, running back position. Has Cash Mock changing to the other side. And they're going to power run. They're looking for a pass. They got one open, and he caught it, and he's got room. Can he outrun him? Can he outrun him? And there's going to be a face mask. He's going to get in for a touchdown on a fourth down play. The flag is against the Oilers' face mask, and that is number 25, Caden Copeland. Copeland. Copeland, what a big time pass by Zuki, and what a big call by Mock and Daryl Cooper. All you needed was a yard and a half. They said, you know what? Let's just go for it. It's Super Bowl Saturday, and it's a beautiful day. And they that, that risk paid off. So here's the replay. Zuki. They're, they're faking the power run, drop back, and they hit Copeland. And he's open, and one of the Oilers there, you see him get the face mask. That's going to give him a 15-yard penalty on the kickoff. But Copeland doing a great job staying on his feet. What a big clutch Super Bowl play for Zuki and Copeland for the Bills. And this game just got real interesting. So they're going to kick a field goal. They're trying to get the three. So if you didn't hear me explain it in previous games, folks, Little League football is like this throughout our alliance. Three points for a field goal. Two points if you throw it into the end zone. One point if you run it in or throw it to a player and he runs it in. Rewards them for the higher skill set because the little guys, it's hard to kick field goals at this age group. So here we go. And they get it. That's going to add three and make the score 12-9 Oilers with 4-16 here in the third quarter. And this game just got really interesting. Bills doing their job and scoring in the big risky play on a fourth and one and a half yard. Coach Daryl Cooper and Chance Mock roll the dice, throw a post pattern, and get it and Copeland Caden Copeland number 25 first Zuki just puts it on the money so Jaden Zuki accurate on that pass and then Caden Copeland with a great catch and then yards after catch for the touchdown so 12-9 here and we got a good football game folks if you've tuned in you're going to see some good Little League football, folks. These, these players are future varsity players. Most of the players on the varsities are the Woodlands, College Park, Oak Ridge, Grand Oaks. They all started their football at South County Football League. So fun watching these little guys grow and play and grow into the football players they are. So Bill's kicking off after the big time score. They're going to kick it deep. They're going to kick it really deep, and he touched it. That went in the end zone, and that should be a safety. He was down. That should be a safety. He touched the football. Oh, he didn't have possession of it. He just touched it, so he can run it back. Sorry, folks. Get a little excited. He had the, he, if he had had possession of it outside of the end zone and went back and went down, that's a safety. He just touched it, but that makes it a live ball. So he had to recover it, and it's gonna, he actually did the right play, and he went down 
And, and he got, so the Oilers are get a big break there for the Oilers. They're going to get the ball on the 25-yard line. Sorry I got so excited, folks. I thought that was going to be a serious turn of events in this game. Because it would have made it a one-point game, 12-11, and the Bills would have got the ball back. But 12-9, 4-0-7 here in the third quarter. Bills, Oilers. Bills just scored on a wonderful, dynamic, amazing pass from Zuki to Copeland. And I think that was about a 35-yard touchdown pass. So here we go, Oilers. Jack's lower. Cass in the backfield with him. Shotgun. Sending Rivioso in motion. Jack's going to keep it. He's a big guy. You got to wrap up. You got to bounce off, kids. He's going to pick up a couple yards. Getting up a little slow, a little shooken up in that play. Took a big time hit. So here's Jax taking the handoff, and this is just a straight up run. The five, three or five hole, and he ran into Carter Webb there. And good tackle there by number 25, Copeland. Copeland, the guy that just scored the touchdown, making a big tackle on Jax Lower. So it's going to bring up a second and six, four yard gain for Lower on that first down. Ball on the 29-yard line. Cass back there, wildcat position. He's going to take it, run to the right side, trying to get to the edge. Gavin Rodriguez trying to stop him. Vera can't get him, and he's going to get run out of bounds. Bills had two shots at him in the backfield for tackle loss. Gavin Rodriguez and Ethan Vera. And Cass was able to shake those tackles off, pick up a couple of yards. It's going to bring up a third and two. That'll bring up third and two. So Gavin Rodriguez coming out of the game, a little shaken up there. He's going to bring Jackson Sinisi in. And Zuki out in the corner, Jackson Zanisi at safety. Lower, gonna take it, power run. He's, he's almost stopped, I thought he fumbled Copeland, almost tried to strip the ball away from him, turned Jackson around. And Jackson, Jackson's taking a beating, tough kid there. But he picks up the first down. Going to be put the ball on the 38-yard line. Oilers get the first down and driving. Jack's lower power run, but he's taking some hits. Had Copeland there turn him around, tried to strip the ball out. Power formation right side, power right. Jack's shotgun formation. Got big Wolf there to block for him. But we're going to run to up. Oh, quick snap. Reverse to Cass. Cass got the edge. He's going to cut back. Cut back. Navigating room. And he's going to finally be brought down on the Bills side of the field. Bills 39 yard line. Great play call there. By Coach Lower. This is a quick snap. Well, he quick snapped it to Rocco Rivioso instead of Jax. Jax went off to the left side. They had power right. Jax went off to the left side to block. And then Cass just did the rest. Great open field running, getting down to the 39-yard line for the Oilers. And this is Rivioso. Rivioso. He's got room, and he's power running down to the 20. Gets down to the 19. First carry of the game, Rocco Rivioso. Ran the five-hole power run, and he picks up the first down and some. Tackle by number nine, Stone McLeod. So first and 10, Oilers, two great runs. First by Carter Cass, number 10, and then 12, Rocco Rivioso. Two big time runs, two first downs, 19 yard line. Jack's lower back there, sending Rocco in formation motion. Gonna hand the ball off to Cass through the four hole. And he's gonna get down to about the 13 yard line. 
Picks up about six yards. So it's going to be second and four. Tackled by Cash Mock. Looks like we are going to have, oh, nope, they're going to let it go to the quarter. So, folks, at the end of the third quarter, had some crazy turn of events. The Oilers went down and scored, making it 12 nothing. But after a crazy good catch and pass from Zuki to Copeland, the Bills score, kicked their extra point field goal, giving them three extra points. So 12-9 here at the end of the third quarter. Folks, it's Super Bowl Saturday here at Wood Forest Bank Stadium, South County Football League. If you want to know more about South County Football League, go to scfootball.org. Registration for fall 2020, uh, 22, uh, 2022 fall football starts April 15th on our website, scfootball.org. April 15th runs to the end of June. Tryouts in July. Teams are selected. And then we start practice at the beginning of August. First game, opening game, opening day, Labor Day weekend, that Saturday, first weekend of September. And so these kids have just went through that process, played a season, and it comes down to this final two Super Bowl teams. Next week at South County Football League, Golo Park will have the Tournament of Champions with the Lone Star Youth Football Alliance. So we'll have the top teams in the area playing a tournament and playing each other at Golo Park, 1122 and a half Pruitt Road, right off Sawdust Road, right down the street or right next door to the Precinct 3 Recycling Center, beautiful five football field facility, Golo Park. Come join us next Saturday. Oilers. Second and four, Jack's lower. He's running right side, off tackle, and he's going to power himself into the end zone. Another touchdown, Jack's lower. Third rushing touchdown for Jack's lower today. Another nine yarder. Actually, that was a little bit more about a uh, 15 yard touchdown, 14 yard touchdown. So he's had a 14-yard touchdown, a 9-yard touchdown, and a 1-yard touchdown. And they're going to run down to the other side of the field to kick their extra point. If you missed it earlier, Conroe ISD is building a beautiful teacher training facility in the north end zone. And there is no net there to catch balls, and it is no workers there to get the balls. So we don't want to lose footballs. These kids, uh, you know, it's Little League, so we don't have an unlimited supply of footballs. <laughs> so we don't want it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it would be illegal for us to jump that fence on an active construction site. So anyway, they're going down. It's a little league. We can deal with that. We're at a beautiful Wood Forest Bank Stadium facility. So no problem walking to the other field using this net and fill goal. So Oilers have 18. It's 18-9 now. If Oilers make this fill goal, they'll get three points and add 21 to 9. So here we go. Ruiz Bush, Bosch for the field goal. And he got it. Well, that's good. He's going to make the score 21 to 9 with at the beginning of the fourth quarter. 9.50 left. Jack's lower. Three touchdowns, three rushing touchdowns today. A 14, a 9, and a 1-yard run. First extra point field goal the Oilers have made, giving them 21 points. And the Bills scored one on a 35-yard pass from Zuki to Copeland. Made their extra point, giving them 9 points. So the Oilers to kick off here. That's going to be received by Jackson Sinisi. He's trying to find room somewhere to go. He gets brought down 
It's going to be brought down, spotted at the 41-yard line. First and 10 Bills, 4-9-43 here left in the game. And the Bills trying to stay in it. They need a touchdown. And if they can get a touchdown and kick a field goal, it'll just be a three-point game. It'll be 21-18. Want to thank our sponsors, Roma Energy Holdings, Golo Dealerships, Quirky Leaf. All our sponsors and volunteers and parents, thank you so much. One big family. Zuki, hand the ball off to Cash Mock. Cash Mock, left hand side. He's going to pick up five yards. He's going to make it second and five. Great run there off the left tackle by Cash Mock. Well blocked to pick up five yards. A little counter play. Copeland out there blocking. Tackle made by. Rocco Rivioso. So second and ten, power, second and five, power right formation. Zuki's going to keep it. Running to the right side, he gets tripped up. Brought down again by Rocco Rivioso. He's going to pick up a few yards, going to make it third and three. Again, tackled by number 12, Rocco Rovirosa. Yeah, Rov 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 Rovirosa has had many tackles today, playing excellent defense, had a 15-yard run to set up that Jack's lower 14-yard touchdown. Beginning of the fourth quarter. Zuki, shotgun, power left. He's going to pitch it to Carter Webb. Carter Webb trying to find room. He fumbles. Ah, fumbles the football, and the Oilers are going to recover. And that's just tough, folks. That's just tough. Folks, let me tell you, Carter Webb has played his tell off today. He's ran the ball great, and I hate to see when this happens to kids because I know they get down, but... It's Little League and stuff like this happens and Carter Webb has nothing, I mean nothing, to hang his head about. He's had an excellent game and that's just going to be a turnover, unfortunate for the Bills. 8.05 left. The Bills are going to get the ball back at the 39-yard line. Jet sweep. He's got room. Can he break the ledge? No flags. He's going to be brought down by Car uh, yeah, Carter Webb. Cass on the jet sweep brought down by Carter Webb. And that's how you know you got a good football player just fumbled and, and busted his tail to make a tackle there. You got a good football player there in Carter Webb. Speaking of good football players, Carter Cass has been excellent today offensively. Running the ball. See, first and 10, ball in the 21, 717 left. Rocco Riverioso. I'm going to give him a power run. He's going to get a pick up a couple of yards. Pick up uh, about three and a half yards, bring up a second, let's say second and six and a half. So second and six here. Six thirty-two left here in the fourth quarter. Twenty-one nineteen. Orders leading. Jacks lower. Shotguns going to hand it off. Nope, he's going to fake the handoff. Keep it. Then he's going to pitch it to Cash. Cash going to make an elusive move. Gets to the outside, and they're going to score again, folks. Touchdown, Oilers. 
And Carter Cash, well deserved. Lower had the three earlier touchdowns. And deserving that Carter Cash get in because he's played lights out today on offense. So that's going to be 27-9, and again, have to go down the other side of the field, kick this field goal. Extra point field goal. Here at Wood Forest Bank Stadium. See you guys, have a great year, thank you. For those who are wondering why the visitor stand is totally blank, it's, it's Little League, so we're just making everybody sit on the home side. For literally by Little League standards, pretty packed. We've had a bunch of people in and out of the stadium all day for all these Super Bowls. Here goes Ruiz Bosch for the extra point. That's blocked. Blocked extra points. So 27-9 to hold the score there. 6-10 left in the game. So I'd like to thank all our volunteers that helped make SEFL happen. And speaking of past, past players, seeing a bunch of old SEFL players that are here in the stadiums watching. Future Hall of Famer right there, Braden number six, Braden Scoggins in the house. Playing in the Connor, uh, Klein Collins School, junior high. Saw Shane Walker and the Aguileras, River Aguilera. Played earlier. Bunch of SEFL folks in the house from years past. So 6.03 left. Bills are going to have the ball on the 47 yard line. Their own 47 yard line, first and 10. Still some time in the game, but the Bills have to score quick. Oh, great screen pass to Jackson Sinisi. Jackson Sinisi gets brought out of bounds. Nine yard gain. It's going to bring up second and one. So due to the way the point system works with field goals, they are actually only two possessions down. They could score two touchdowns to the Bills and kick two extra point field goals and tie the game. Zuki, first down, run off the left side. I'll tell you what, Jaden Zuku has just had a heck of a game. Great arm, great running, just high football IQ out of that kid. Played excellent on defense as well. So first and 10, ball in the 40, power right formation, one spread. Zuki's going to pass. He's looking. He's scrambling. He gets rid of it. Oh, and he put it right where he needed to. He let the route develop. He was looking for, yeah, Jackson Sneezy and Copeland over there again. He's looking for Copeland on the out pattern and just had to get them time to separate from the Oilers players and just barely overthrew it. So it's going to stop the clock at 4.30 here in the fourth quarter. Ten. 
And second and ten. So Zuki shotgun formation. He's going to run it. He runs up the middle. Big gain. Big gain for Zuki, and he's going to pick up the first down. He's going to stop the clock temporarily. 4.18 left. Refs are going to spot the ball. Chains are moving. Clock's running again. And it looks like the Oilers want to talk about it and call a timeout. So they're going to stop the clock at 4.08. Suzuki and the Bills putting together a drive. Ball on the 30-yard line. They're trailing by 18 points. 27-9 to the Oilers. Jacks lower. Three rushing touchdowns. 14-9 and one. And then um, Carter Cass for the Oilers with a 14-yard run as well. The Oilers able to make only one of their extra points in those four touchdowns, giving them three points. So six times, four times, or plus three, 27. Pretty good at the math there, huh, Justin? <laughs> so 408 left. Folks, we're here at beautiful Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Beautiful day today. Brought the kids over here to have an experience on Super Bowl Saturday at South County Football League. Senior Oilers leading the Senior Bills 27-9. Bills 30-yard line. First and 10 after a run by Zuki. Zuki shotgun formation. He's got Carter Webb in the backfield with him. Power to the right. Cash Mock gets back there. He's going to hand it off to Cash Mock. He's running left-hand side. An excellent tackle there by number 14, Sam. Yes, it's Vani Chuku. We're waiting to say Sam's name again. It's Vani Chuku. Dad came up and let us know the pronunciation of his... 15 letter last name smiling about it I appreciated that he's Vani Chuku with an excellent tackle there on Cash Mock got an injured player on the field right now hope it's not too serious Players take a knee and everybody kind of stops what they're doing so we can attend to the injured player. Never a good thing. There we go. They're going to help him up off the field. Let's hope that's not too serious. So after that run, an injury timeout, 3.52 left here in the fourth quarter. Bills driving second and about 10 and a half. Zuki, whoa, avoids a rush. 
Gets a man downfield, and that's Copeland trying to make, and he does, interception, and guess by who? Carter, Cass, and Copeland. This is a great pass. Zuki just trying to get away from Wolf there. He's got big number 32. Freeman coming at him, and Cash and Copeland go up for it. Cass comes down with it. And he's excited, the youngster there. Great play by Cass. Great interception. He's going to turn over on downs. 337 left here. Folks, want to thank everybody that's been a part of today. Want to thank in this season. Want to thank our parents. Want to thank our volunteers, board members, referees, and everybody that's been a part of South County Football League. A lot of work goes in to making this happen for the little guys. And I've been a part of it. I was president from 2016 to 2019. Put a lot of work into it. It's all volunteer. And, you know, without great sponsors like the Golo family and Golo dealerships, without great partners like Woodlands Online Sports, without great partners like Roma Energy Holdings, it would be impossible to pull this off for these kids and give the football players and the cheerleaders a great season that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. So thank you. Thank you all our sponsors. Thank you Roma Energy Holdings, Golo Dealerships, Quirky Leaf. Thank you Woodlands Online Sports for all you do for South County Football League. And here's Cass on the run around the right side. And he's got room to get the edge. He's get pushed out of bounds. He's going to stop the clock at 326. But he's going to pick up the first down on the way. So the Oilers just made some big time plays and the Bills made it super exciting there in the third quarter. Bringing it from 12-0 to 12-9 on a spectacular pass from Zuki to Copeland. But in the end, Jack's lower, three rushing touchdowns. Carter Cass, a rushing touchdown and an interception. Just amazing play from these 12 year olds. Jack's lower, left side. He's cutting back, looking for room. Carter Webb in, Copeland in on the tackle. Clock running, 314. Jackson lower, the ball carrier. Looks like that's going to give him a first down. So 220, 252, 251 and counting. Oilers are just going to run the ball to run out the clock. Too early to take victory formation. Bill still has some timeouts left. And Jack's lower. He's just going to keep it. River, Rocco Rivioso. And it looks like the Bills are going to call a timeout. Time out. Just to talk it over with their team. It looks like that injured player was um, Cash Mock. Saw so Mock, Chance Mock go over to check him out. Definitely hope Cash is okay. He's a great kid. Chance Mock's been a great coach in our league this year, along with Daryl Cooper. We've had a pretty good year as far as coaches go. Hats off to Mike Lower and Daryl Cooper making it to the Super Bowl. Rich Walters and Angelo Randerson and Coach Miller and Coach Tippins, the sophomores. And especially hats off to our freshman Cowboys team. I haven't talked about them today, but they went undefeated in the Alliance. 
And they are ranked number one in the whole line. So they're going to, oh, here's a big time run by Cass. He's going to pick up the first down and more sweep to the left side. But the South County Cowboys freshman team undefeated in the Alliance. Had their Super Bowl game against the Alliance opponent last week, and they're looking forward to the Tournament of Champions next week at Golo Park. Speaking of, folks, next Saturday, Tournament of Champions, Lone Star Youth Football Alliance at South County Football League, Golo Park. You can Google Maps Golo Park. It'll take you right to it. Beautiful five football fields facility. Sponsored and helped build by the Golo family, Golo dealerships, Matt Weisenbaker. Jack's lower just waiting for the clock to go down before he snaps it and trying to run the clock out here. They're just going to power run. Gang tackle, Ethan Vera there and then the tackle. As well as Bo Duke on the tackle, number 19. So next Saturday, come out, we'll have some great football. We got some great football teams and youth football teams and Lone Star Youth Football Alliance, North County, Montgomery, and Willis always have some great teams. Magnolia, Humble, Huntsville, Brenham, and Grimes County, which is Navasota. So under one minute, 55 seconds left. Looks like Rocco Rivioso is going to take the final snap and Power run up the middle. <laughs> He's going to be brought down. It's going to stop the clock with 37 seconds left to move the chains, but it's like they're just going to keep rolling it. So that's going to be a wrap here from Golo from Wood Forest Bank Stadium. Super Bowl Saturday, South County Football League. Sophomore, freshman champions, freshman Cowboys, sophomore champions. Sophomore Cowboys, Junior Champions, the Ravens, and the 2021 Senior South County Football League Super Bowl Champions, the Oilers. I got Jax Lower and Carter Cass as my game co-MVPs. Oilers win it 27-9. Want to thank Roma Energy Holdings, Golo Dealerships, and Quirky Leaf. And want to thank all the board members, volunteers, and parents for a great, wonderful season. And especially want to thank Woodlands Online Sports for everything they do. Justin, our camera guys, and everything the Woodlands Online Sports does for South County Football League. Thank you. Good job, everybody. Have a great rest of the weekend. We hope to see you next Saturday at Golo Park South County Football League. And if you're interested in signing your kid up for football or cheerleading, please go to secfootball.org and come join us. The best Little League Tackle Football League in the state of Texas.